Hey everybody, this is my hydroponic NFT system that I built for about 125 bucks. Um, just kind of walk through it and show you what I got going on so you guys can build one. Uh, pretty simple, everything I got from Home Depot or Lowe's, so uh, should be pretty easy to get, but you can see it's built on a trellis that you can get for about 25 bucks. And uh, we'll just start from the, from the reservoir. So, it's got a 5 gallon tote with a 225 gallon per hour pump down at the bottom of it. got that from Petco actually for about $25 and then I got a regulator valve so I can slow down the flow because that will pump more than I'd like. Um, I do have this to add oxygen to the water which just makes some fine bubbles as you can see when it goes in the water it just spins. I just added that. I don't know how much it's really working but I threw it in there anyways because I had an extra room for it. The uh, water pumps out of there comes right up to the top of the system. I'm going to eventually tap that in right here but for now as you can see it's just stuck in there. We got a 2 inch hole with a 1.75 inch net pot for each of them that I just got off of Amazon. And what it does, the water will just run down along the NFT rail. Got a grommet, end cap, some hose. This comes out of the bottom here, drilled closer to the bottom. This hole's drilled closer to the top. That gives it a little bit of uh, uh, room to fill up. Run back along the rail. This one's now down at the bottom, going to the top of here. And you can see how it goes and all the way back down and back into our, our container. Now I've got plenty of room to put more spots in the middle of these. I started them kind of narrow at first just to see what I could fit, but I could definitely fit some more some more spots. So I suggest, you know, uh, maybe seven holes in each, in each rail. Um, these little hangers are PVC hangers you can buy over in the same section you get your pipe from and just put it screw in there to hold it and then they just clip in so these rails will all come out and uh, the hoses will just slide right out and I'll be able to clean them out pretty easily. Um, on the back of the system I started with some bamboo which is gonna get taken off and thrown away because this stuff started to crack and split and leak everywhere. It was gonna look pretty cool when I was working on it but that's gonna come off. I'm gonna put maybe some three or four inch PVC on this side, pull it away from this wall and divide that hose up so I've got two sides going. Maybe a little bit larger reservoir, but that's it. And you build it for about 125 bucks. Um, the only thing you gotta do to double up what I have now is just add a couple more pieces of PVC, which is pretty cheap. These are cut into four foot sections. Um, you know, six bucks for 10 feet, so I only spelt, spent 12 bucks for this side another 12 bucks for the other side and some end caps and some hose and you know I'd say another 30 bucks and I could dump up my spot so anyways that's it it's a quick little DIY got a bunch of happy plants already um, these guys have been in here a couple weeks I started them from seed indoors first and then brought them out once I had the system up but they're happy looks like it's doing good good luck got any questions Post them. I'll try to answer them.